I'm Chris with Motion Worship, and I'm here to show you how to set up click tracks in Ableton for your worship set lists. Okay, so there are more complicated and customizable ways of doing this, but this video is just going to be the simplest rundown on how to build click tracks for a set list in Ableton. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just open a default Ableton set list. And right away, we want to make sure that we have a MIDI track set up. Now, tracks in Ableton are these columns over on the left hand side. And Ableton has two different types of tracks there's audio tracks, which are used for importing audio files like waves or MP3s. And then there's MIDI tracks, which are used for triggering sounds and instruments inside of Ableton. That's what we're going to want to use today. If for some reason you don't have a MIDI track already set up, you can always just right click next to those headers and press insert MIDI track. We're going to go ahead and delete these since we're not going to use them. Okay, so in order to run click tracks for a set list, all of your songs are probably going to be in different tempos and maybe even time signatures, and it'd be really difficult to modify those details manually in between songs when you're actually playing. So luckily, Ableton's super intuitive and uses the text information that you put in the scene name over here to automatically adjust the project settings. Now, by default, Ableton is set to 120 BPM in 4.4 in the upper left-hand corner over here, but we can change the scene name and have it automatically update what those project settings are for each song. So here's how we're going to want to name it. Go ahead and right click the scene, select rename, and then type in the name of your song. We'll do the song Great Are You Lord. Then type a semicolon, the BPM of the song. This one is in 72. Another semicolon, and then the time signature, and this one's in 68. Press enter or return on a Mac, and now you have it set up. So once again, in the upper left-hand corner, it's automatically set to 120 BPM in 4.4, but if I press this play button, we can see that it immediately changes the project settings to 72 BPM and 6.8. So that's great. Ableton's taking the text information that we just put in the scene name and automatically adjusting the project settings accordingly. Okay, so you probably noticed when I press play, it automatically adjusted the project settings, but it didn't start playing the click track. And we can tell from the measure counter here that it's not moving. So what you want to do is go to the MIDI track that we created earlier, double click in this empty cell to create a MIDI clip. And now when we press play, you'll notice that the measure counter is moving at the top, meaning that Ableton is actually playing the song now. However, no click track sound is coming through until you go to the upper left hand corner to this icon with two circles and click this and make sure it's highlighted yellow. Once you do that, that enables the metronome. And now if we go back to our play button, it should start the click track perfectly. At this point, building out the rest of the set list is really easy. You're just going through the remainder of the scene names and renaming each of them. We'll do song two, 110 BPM in four, four, and maybe one more song three, 90 BPM for eight. Go over to your MIDI track and double click to create MIDI clips. And then when we press each of these, it'll automatically update the project settings and start a new click track. Now here's a quick tip for running click tracks on a Sunday morning. If you don't want to be messing with the mouse pad and trying to navigate over to play buttons on scenes, you can always run click tracks by selecting the first scene and pressing the return key on a Mac or enter key on a PC. And that'll play the first one and automatically highlight the next scene, allowing you to just use the return and enter keys to play through your entire set list of click tracks. All right, well, that's it for this basic click track tutorial. In future videos, I'll cover some more customizable ways of building out click tracks in Ableton. 